Hi guys, um, Tabitha here. I am uh, posting the TK late because I haven't felt good today. They have uh, switched my medications around and I'm trying to get used to this one and it uh, really threw me for a loop today. It made me really tired. So I slept most of the day, but I apologize and let's do it. Let's do this T Pay now. We have um, this week, it is something Valentine's Day. Okay, fell perfect. You know what tomorrow being, you know, Valentine's Day? And uh, it just fell perfect. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up this card here. I found the vintage card. Is that not cute? I found a stock of them that I had gotten a long time ago from someone. And um, I am going to use them. I'll start using them. Put them in my little container. I got a whole little bag here of vintage cards. So um, I'm going to start using them. Um, all right. I've got it inked. I need to find me some little paper. I think I'm going to go white on the back of it this time. So I'm going to use some tissue if I can find it. If not, we will use stone patterns. Stone pattern paper. And I think, guys, that stone pattern paper is what we're going to be using. So that's all that I'm finding. No, wait, I found some tissue. Change mine, change mine. We'll grab a piece of this tissue right here. I'll just rip a little piece of it off. Um, just enough to get my base down, you know? So we'll put that back. And I guess I got to get the Mod Podge. I got some things here. I just don't know what I want to use. So I laid some stuff out that's kind of, you know, Valentine's Day. Also made up some little clusters. Aren't those cute? I've been making uh, clusters all week. Clusters and page edgers. And I've got a whole basket full of clusters. And I made them kind of neutral. That way I could use them in anything, you know. There goes my Sammy. She's barking. Um, let me clean up some of this desk. I'm where I was at it last night. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. That is what has went on today with the week seven. But... We're going to fix that. We're going to get this going. Let's get some Mod Podge. I've got a little container somewhere where I don't have to use this big old, this big one. And I don't see it. So I guess I'm going to use the big one. Egg on it. Oh no, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that works. That way I don't have to dip my little brush into it. That big, that big container there. Uh, let's see what else we need. We need my little brush. Where did it go? There it is. My little silicone brush. I'm going to wad this up a little bit. Let things wad it up. <laughs> wad it up. But yes, I feel a lot better. It's just that it's going to take me a while to get used to that. Oof, I'm telling you. A little stronger than what I had before, apparently. And it, it threw me for a loop. A loopy. A loopy loop. Okay, so put that down. Put that down on there. And this here will give us some little crinkles for some finish look. Let's make sure we got some crinkles up at the top. Because my stuff will go more down toward the bottom. And I want them wrinkles this time. I want them wrinkles. Now, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be inking over this other than um, distressing a little bit. So I think I'm going to call it and uh, a little here. Let me blow dry that real quick. Blow dry it real quick. <laughs> quick like. Let's pick up a little piece there long. But I'm not going to go over the top is what I'm saying because I'm not going to be using like waters or anything like that. I might just take one of my uh, blending brushes and brush over some ink. And be done with it. So that's that. Okay. Let's cut it off. No, let's tear it. Let's tear it maybe. I'm going to give it a good look. Tear it. Okay. 
push it aside. That's all we need of this. See, I wouldn't have to would have had to have uh, put my brush in that for nothing. The big one. Gotta refill that up though. Okay, so I'm gonna put some ink around it, and of course I'm gonna go with the brown espresso. Get it on that tissue there. And I am going to rub a little bit across this top here where the wrinkles are. Let's get a little blender, a little blending brush. Maybe I can just lightly get them wrinkles, kind of grunge it up a little bit. Grunge it up a little bit. Hit those wrinkles good. And I like the way that the wrinkles look. And my cluster is going to sit right here, so it's going to be up out of the way. Up and out of the way. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's get a cluster going here. What I got? I think I'm going to go put this down like so. What do we got here? Maybe I put some of this little. Um, cheesecloth a little crinkly gotta have it i love it in clusters guys uh oh man i forgot the book page let's go book page then let's go cluster and i'm putting it all on top of this card because i will go and i'm going to sew on it let's get this little piece of uh what you call it there lace i want it to stick out I think I'm going to use him, little Cupid. I'm going to put him down right there. I'm going to make sure all this is fluffing out. We're going to put little Cupid right there. And I think I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it behind the card. Kind of make it like sideways. Put that, that tag behind it. And we're going to see what that looks like. I'm just going to sew zigzag straight across. That's going to hold everything down. Or it should hold everything down. Let's just say. Plus it'll give me an additional. Well it might if I thread my thread. huh? Might have worked. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Is it gonna throw it? Come on. Get in there. You go. There it goes. Okay. Let's try this again. Hold it all back down. Stick it in there. We're gonna try it again. There we go. So we got a card. I got my cluster. It's Valentine's, and I got a pretty little rose tag right there, and I think that's what my card's going to be this time. What should I put a little stamp up there, kind of the blend it out a little bit, maybe? And I love, you know, guys, I love my little vintage stamp, or that little stamp I use. Got a sign. There we go. There we go. I love this little stamp. Be as I see it, it was hiding, it was hiding for me. And you want to use an archival ink that way it doesn't, uh, you know, smear. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna ink her up a little bit, I'm gonna put it right here, put a little stamp on her because she's setting on mail, or we'll keep it setting on some mail, and uh, she's fixing to get mailed or mail her little letters. And there we go. Ta-da! Got a little blubbly there, didn't it? That's okay. Let's see. I could probably take my white pen. I don't know why that, man, that gets inky. It got a little blubbly. Let's get something. Maybe watch me smear it. It's not going to come off. I'll add some white to that. And get that off of there before I'm done. But there it is. We got to get that little blub, blub, blub off. And I will take a little bit of white. 
It's going to bug me, guys. Let's take a little bit of gesso. Let's fix it. I don't have much gesso in there. I need a little brush. Let me get a little brush. And I don't have a little brush either. Oh, not one that I want to use, but I'm going to put that in there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to gesso over it. And then when it dries, which I'm going to dry it here with you guys, because uh, that was aggravating me, I'm going to hit it with the heat gun, dry that gesso, and then go over it with a little bit more of the distress ink over top of that gesso. And I think it'll be just fine. Let's see. Let's go over it with a bit more of this. Let's see how that does. And look at the difference. Cover up your boo boos. Cover up your boo boos. So there we go. Ta ta da! Isn't it cute? And everything's sold in. And I didn't use any glue, really. I just sold everything down. So I've got a cluster. Got me a pretty Valentine like rose tag. And. It's on an altar card. I altered it. But there we go, guys. There is my Valentine. All right. I'm getting off of here. And again, I want to apologize to you guys for uh, not holding up to my commitment with the lives today in, in the group. And um, there we go. We, we're starting. I'm feeling better. And I'm calling her. We're going to talk about this medicine because that threw me for a loop. And I can't do that. <laughs> It knocked me out. I was out all day long. Actually, I just got up not long ago. But anyway, I want to thank you guys. I will post a picture and get your T-Pay uh, week seven out there. Valentine's. Do something Valentine. And like I said, there's my Valentine. All right. Take care, guys. See y'all in the morning. Bye-bye.